Hello guys, the topic for today is Health, Education and HR that is Human Resource. The first question for today Examine the state of mental health in India in the context of increasing disclosure of mental health illness by celebrities. So we have to discuss about the mental health. The introduction can be According to WHO, mental health illness makes about 15% of total disease condition around the world. So globally 15% people, like 15% of the disease is related to mental illness. It needs psychological, emotional and social well-being initiative to get a cure. Now let's look into some of the example. Recently, Japanese tennis player Naomi Osaka withdrew from the French Open, citing depression. Then there are also some Indian examples like Shushan Singh Rajput and Deepika Padukone, uh, etc. Now, India and mental health. What is the status? According to the Lancet Report 2020, 197.3 million people with mental disorders in India. So, the report was published in 2017 and this is based on 2017 data. Around 200 million people. And then according to WHO, in 2018 it said India is the world's most depressing country. So, many people live in India. Many depressed people. Especially southern states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh have higher prevalence of mental disorder. Then these are some of the facts. Now what are the challenges because of this mental health? To handle this mental health situation, what are the challenges? First one, lack of resources. Low proportion of mental health workforce. According to WHO, Point, uh, this is a report of by WHO 0.301 psychiatrists and 0.047 psychologists for every 1 lakh patients are only available in the country and then low budgetary allocation awareness and sensitivity about mental health among the people also then loss to economy as it mostly affects the engaged people who are the working population and treatment gaps in rural areas 92 percent have no access to mental health care because most of the mental health center care center are available only in urban areas and rural people are severely affected high ope means out of pocket expenditure insurance schemes cover only the physical injuries and not mental ones so this is an important issue and then prone to abuse these people they are prone to physical and sexual abuse also now what are the major indian initiatives for mental health first national mental health program and then the mental health care act 2017 central and state mental health authorities have been created under this under the mental health care act 2017 and then kiran helpline this is a 24 into 7 toll free Helpline number by Ministry of Social Justice. And then Mano Darpan Initiative. This is by Ministry of Education to provide psychosocial support to the students. And then Manasap, Mental Health and Normalcy Augmentation System. For which an app was launched. And then Ra app. What is this Ra app? It is for the free flow of information to public on this mental health related issues. So these are the various initiatives by government. Now what are the further measures which can be taken? Increase awareness and budgetary allocation. Train ground level workers like ASHAs and ANMs for the mental health training. And then better center state coordination is needed. And reduce out of pocket expenditure also. So these are some of the measures needed. Then how can we conclude? WHO. According to WHO, countries have to swiftly improve mental health. Else, in 2030, depression will be leading illness globally. So, we have to improve our mental health. Or else, 2030, depression will be leading the globe. Therefore, India needs to take necessary steps in the right direction and right time. Thank you.